The movie begins with Mysterio's video revealing Spider-Man's real name, Peter Parker. It is also revealed in the video that Spider-Man is responsible for Mysterio's death. He is considered the public enemy. Some people are teasing Michelle Jones Watson and questioning her about her relationship with Spider-Man, which Peter notices. Peter picks her up and takes off. He drives her to his house and leads her through the window into Peter's room. Peter's Aunt May is conversing with his boyfriend, Happy Hogan. They both find Peter and MJ in an awkward situation. After learning that Happy and May are going to break up, Peter and MJ try to persuade them to reconcile. Peter tries to keep his aunt, May Parker, from this news, but people surround his house and helicopters also reach there. Peter is also accused of being a part of the London attack. Some federal agents from the Department of Damage Control arrest Peter, MJ, Ned, and May and investigate them. An investigation has also been launched into the Stark industry, which claims to have manufactured the drones used in the London attack. They hire a lawyer named Matt Murdock, who manages to get his criminal charges dropped, but still they face criticism from the public. Murdock informs Happy that the investigation into the missing technology will continue. If he is involved in this matter, he should consult with a lawyer. They move out of their apartment and begin living somewhere else. MJ and Peter are still in contact. The next day, Peter goes to Midtown High School with MJ and Ned leads for their senior year. People have mixed feelings about them. Some support them, while others oppose them. The three friends congregate on the roof, where MJ reads the latest news about Peter. They are all rejected from every college, even Mitt. Peter goes to the New York Sanctum and requests that Stefan go back in time and prevent Mysterio from releasing the video. He claims that he has ruined the lives of his loved ones. Stephen claims he is unable to do so because he lacks a time stone. He requests that Wong cast the forgetting spell but he declines. Stefan then casts the spell himself with the runes of Cough Call that are used to make people forget everything they know about Peter. Wong warns them but Stefan insists and then starts casting the spell. Except for his close relatives, Peter wants everyone to forget about him. He keeps interrupting Stefan while he is casting the spell. The spell goes out of control and Stefan has to stop it. Stefan becomes irritated and informs Peter that he is the source of the problem and is attempting to live a double life. He asks Peter to persuade the college administration to reconsider his admission. Peter asks Flash, who informs him that the assistant vice chancellor is on her way to the airport and that he can speak with her. He locates her and attempts to communicate with her. Otto Octavius arrives and begins destroying the cars before she can respond. Peter fights him in an attempt to save the people. He also tries to help the assistant vice principal, but Otto Octavius apprehends him and rips nanotechnology particles from Peter's Spider-Man suit. The particles bond with his tentacles, allowing Peter to control them. Peter saves the vice principal, who praises him as a hero. She also promises to do something to help them gain admission. Osborn comes but before he attacks Peter, Stefan teleports him to the Sanctum and locks Octavius and Lizard into a cell. He informs Peter that his incomplete spell summoned people from other universes who were aware of Peter. He assures Stefan that he is responsible for the entire mess and that he will clean it up. Stefan requests that Peter, with the assistance of Ned and MJ, capture these people from other universes. Peter takes MJ and Ned to the Sanctum. They find Electro outside the city and Peter goes to fight him. Electro attacks Peter, but Sandman saves him. He and Sandman cut power lines, allowing Electro to reclaim his body. Peter sends him and Sandman to the Sanctum, where Electro recognizes another lizard-like man and informs the others that he is Dr. Kurt Connors, a scientist. Osborne is approached by a skull, who informs him that he cannot escape himself. He becomes terrified and smashes the skull. May calls Peter and tells him that a guy he is looking for is with her. Peter rushes over to her and discovers Osborne sitting with May. Osborne is surprised to see Peter and admits that he sometimes feels like someone else rather than himself. May informs Peter that Osborne suffers from mental illness. Peter believes they should return them all to their home world. Osborne is brought to Sanctum by Peter, who introduces him to MJ and Ned. Osborne recognizes Octavius, but Octavius claims that Osborne died a long time ago. They realize that they have been resurrected by the spell. Sandman confirms the deaths of Osborne and Octavius. Stephen arrives and shows them the Machina de Cadavis, an international relic. 
He explains that he has kept his unfinished spell within it. He informs Peter that he intends to transport all of the creatures to their respective worlds. But Peter objects. When Stephen begins the spell, Peter grabs the relic and flees. Stefan follows him and transports him to the mirror dimension. While fighting, Stefan attempts to take the relic from Peter, but Peter traps him in a web matrix and steals his ring. He leaves Stephen there and returns to the Earth. He assures all the creatures from other universes that he will save them from death. He gives Stefan's ring to Ned and relic to MJ. He then takes all of them to Happy's apartment. He employs a fabricator to create a replacement chip for Octavius' tentacles and reactivate his brain. After the successful experiment on Octavius, Peter cures Electro. Before he can cure Osborne, the Green Goblin takes control of Osborne's body and attacks Peter. Sandman, Lizard, and Electro escape while Osborne and Green Goblin attack Peter. May and Peter are badly injured in the attack and May dies. When the cops arrive, Peter is forced to flee. Jameson's coverage of the attack adds to Peter's guilt when Jameson says Spider-Man leaves chaos and destruction wherever he goes. When MJ decides to press the relic, Ned accidentally opens a portal with Steven's ring. They see a Spider-Man on the other side of the portal, and thinking of him as Peter, they call him. Soon, they realize that he is Peter Parker from some other universe who fought Lizard and Electro. Ned tries again, but this time a different Peter Parker appears from another universe, having fought the Green Goblin, Octavius, and Sandman. They both assist MJ and Ned in locating Peter. Peter informs both Spider-Men from other universes that he is transporting them to their respective universes with other creatures. He claims he is not responsible for any of them. The Spider-Men from other universes tell Peter that they, too, have lost loved ones and that he is not alone. They all agree to cure the villains and establish a laboratory. The three Spider-Men arrive at the Statue of Liberty, where Peter Parker broadcasts a message and displays the Machina in order to entice Lizard, Electro, and Sandman. Soon they are attacked by them, and later they all pick up the code names Peter 1, Peter 2, and Peter 3. They team up and manage to cure the Sandman first. In the laboratory, Ned and MJ are attempting to close the portal but are unable to do so. While Lizard attacks them, Peter 1 goes to save them, and while fighting, he manages to give Lizard the antidote. Dr. Stephen Strange emerges from another portal opened by Ned. MJ and Ned inform him that Peter's plan is working and that he is curing them. Stephen snatches the Machina from them as Octavius approaches. He takes Electro's arc reactor, rendering him powerless. Green Goblin abruptly takes Machina from Stefan and inserts a bomb into it, causing a massive explosion that tears the fabric of the universe. MJ falls from the Statue of Liberty, and Peter 1 goes to save his girlfriend. He is attacked by the Green Goblin, but Peter 3 saves her. Peter 1, on the other hand, confronts the Green Goblin, who is taking control of Osborne's body. During the fight, Peter overpowers him and is about to stab him, but Peter 2 intervenes. Peter 2 is stabbed in the back by the Green Goblin, but Peter 3 provides anti-serum to Peter 1, who injects it into Osborne's body. Osborne enters his consciousness and inquires as to what he has done. Stefan tries to keep the universe's rifts together and prevent visitors from other universes from entering. Peter 1 requests that Stefan cast a new spell that will make everyone forget about his memories. Stephen hesitates at first, but eventually agrees with Peter's insistence. Peter 1 goes to his fellow Spider-Men and thanks them for their help. He then tells Ned and MJ that they will forget about him after the spell. He promises both of them that he will find them and make them remember who he is. MJ and Ned get emotional knowing this because they do not want it. With a heavy heart, Peter bids them farewell while Stefan casts the spell ending Electra, Octavius, and others in their universes. The entire world forgets about Peter. After a few days, Peter goes to meet MJ and Ned at a coffee shop. He wants to tell MJ about himself, but does not after seeing her wound. He sees her and Ned with affection, which surprises MJ. He visits May's grave, where he meets Happy Hogan. Happy does not recognize him and asks how he knows May. He moves into a new apartment and begins Jed preparation. He sews his new Spider-Man suit together so he can resume his heroics. In the middle credits scene, Eddie Brock and his companion Venom are sitting at a bar. They are also mistakenly located in another universe. They talk about other superhumans and the blip. Suddenly, they are transported to their universe when Stefan casts the spell.
And with that, this movie ends here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all liked the video. If you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to watch many more such cool recaps. And hit the bell icon too.